Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my makeup basket for the week of November the 2nd. Happy November. This is my birthday month. Celebrate. Um, I'm going to jump right in. And first, I'll tell you what is on my face because I did try a couple of new things that I picked up. Some of them are just new to me. Um, for my foundation and I think this is relatively new I just did a video on it I think you'll see that a little bit later on this week I did a try it with me of the new EXA high fidelity satin semi satin foundation so this is the foundation that I have on the concealer sorry digging down here in the basket that I have on is a mixture of the two Tarte shape tape um, tan sand and deep I did uh, set my concealer with the Urban Decay All Nighter and as far as, and I'm reaching, sorry, I'm setting the rest of my face. I used the Laura Mercier Translucent and Medium Deep, which that is a absolute staple for me. Um, <clears throat> on the eyes, which is, let me take this off so you can see. I am completely playing around in makeup. Don't know that I am 100% comfortable with the boldness of this eyeshadow because you all know I don't really do bold eyeshadows. But I wanted to play around with the palette. So I picked up, and I have had this for a while. I don't think I've ever hauled it. The BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. And it looks like this here on the inside. My colors might be a little bit off because this room has a little bit of a yellow tint to it because of the wall. So I think everything comes out a little bit too warm looking. But I used the Avocado Toast Palette on my eyes. I used two mascaras. I used the Tarte Big Ego on the upper lashes. And I used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the lower lashes. This is an I've been using for years. Um, on the cheeks. Oh, bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Because we had to bring this foundation down because it was a little bit too light. Um, I used the Sunstalker by Fenty in the shade Coco Naughty. All right, got a little uh, sidetrack from a phone call, but. Yes, the Sunstalker um, Bronzer and Coco Naughty. That's what I use as a bronzer today. And then on my cheeks, I used an Odie Bagoodie, the Milani Baked Blush. And this is in Red Vino, perfect fall color. Um, and on my lips, I used the Revolution, what do they call this? Lip liner, I don't know. Yep, that's it. Revolution Lip Liner in Glory. Because I can't find my chestnut liner. And I'm about to tear this whole makeup table up until I find it. Because it's my favorite. Um, on the lips for lipstick. I use the Statement Lipstick from Milani in the shade Teddy Bear. So we'll switch up for you. We went a little bit nude because we have these bold eyes. And then on top of that... To give it a little bit more shine, I used one of the lifter glosses from Maybelline. And this is in the shade 007 Amber. So that is what is on my face. And now we will get right into what is in my basket. You are going to see me reach into the side because my basket every day sits right here and I just grab out of it. But I have two foundations that I am going to be pulling out. One of them is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. I'm being funny. I don't usually say that whole name. This is the matte CC cream from It Cosmetics. And I have it in the shade Rich Honey. I also pulled out the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. Um, so it has sunscreen of SPF 50 in it. And this is in the shade Cappuccino, 340 Cappuccino. So those are my two foundations this week. Eyeshadows, 
I went into a, like a little bit of a frenzy. No, the avocado toast one. I mean, I guess it is because I put it on my eyes today. A part of my makeup basket, but it is not what I originally put in my basket. I pulled out like six palettes. Um, but these may last a couple of weeks because I kind of want to use all of them. But I feel like I went a little bit crazy adding stuff to my basket. I pulled out two colored rain palettes because to me they screamed fall. I pulled out the Beauty Rust palette. And these two palettes I got from colored rain. Free from, they sent them to me is what I mean. Um, and this is what the Beauty Rust palette looks like. There it is. That's the Beauty Rust palette. Very pretty with the deep sort of oranges and burgundies and golds. And then I pulled out the Safari Rain palette. And that looks like this. And I guess I'm feeling like green eyeshadows this week. But that is the Safari Rain palette. I pulled out from Tarte the Unleashed palette. So here's the thing about this palette that makes me sick. On the front it says Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free. So you would think that that was the name of the palette. And then on the back it says Unleashed. So it's the freaking Unleashed palette. But this is what it looks like. And this one screen fall to me too. Very pretty. I'm probably going to use this tomorrow. Like I'm putting eyeshadows on more at home than I have been in the past six, seven months at work. But this is the Unleashed palette from Tarte. And it has this little plastic in it, but because it's decorated, I like refuse to throw that plastic away. Um, I pulled out a crayon case palette, which I don't think I've ever really played with. I may have swatched it. Um, and this is called the Make Me Blush Palette. And Make Me Blush made me think it was a blush palette. But when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Also says fall over here on this side. Very fall. It almost reminds me of that Beauty Rust palette from um, Color Rain. But this is the... No, I said Make Me Blush. Watch Me Blush palette from... The crayon case. My eyeshadows are heavy on the black owned makeup side this, this week. I think most of them are black owned except that Tarte palette. Um, the next one I pulled out is from Beauty Bakery and it's called the Do It For The Gram palette. And it looks like this. If you can see my theme, we are going pretty much... Um, Anything that inspired me to, to do fall looks. So that is to do it for the gram. And these eyeshadow pa um, pans and the eyeshadow pans in the Watch Me Blush palette are huge. So that is that. And the last one I pulled out, um, I got inspired because I just ordered the second version of it. It's the Wahala palette. I ordered the Wahala palette yesterday. And I'll tell you the story about that once I get the palette. But this is the Wahala palette and this is what it looks like on the inside. So this one more tends toward the more colorful to me than it does like a fall. But it was just so pretty so I pulled that out. Um, as far as blushes, all, a lot of my things that I um, pulled out this week were inspired for one reason or another. I made a, um, a purchase from Milani and I purchased those two new baked blushes. But then that made me remember to dig into my collection of baked blushes that I already had from them. And I pulled out two. I pulled out the Red Vino, which I told you I had on my cheeks today. And I pulled it out in Bella Rosa, which is on the cooler side in case I want to do a bit of a cool eyeshadow look. So I pulled those out. And I was watching uh, Lady Fine here on YouTube and she mentioned her e.l.f. blush and these, I forgot what they call these blushes, but this one is in Radiant Peach. And I feel like I gotta swatch this one because it's not really 
this one is like um this one is in radiant peach i don't think this was the one i wanted to pull out give me one second all right so i will keep radiant peach in my makeup basket for the week because i mean it is still a pretty blush and that is let's see if it'll adjust yeah that is what that looks like and the one I meant to pull out is the one that she had in her video, I think a couple of videos ago. And this is the one in Brilliant Mauve. I think this is the one she had in her video. I'm not sure. They call this one Brilliant Mauve, even though it looks sort of orangey. And like she said, it sort of reminds you of sort of, of Taj Mahal from NARS but that is that under the bottom this is the mauve it's not mauve at all i don't know why they call it that but those are the blushes that i will be using for the week um let's see my lip colors we did foundation we did eyeshadow we did blush my lip colors i sort of have lip colors spread here on my desk i'm going to keep actually this milani um highlighter in here it's a baked highlighter in rosa italiana because i like it and you're gonna pull these blushes out um i pulled out quite a few of the Too faced their melted mattes i pulled out quite a few of those a lot of them are like their fall and Christmas inspired ones well sort of three of them so I pulled it out and this one I just picked up when I picked up the um the Too Faced pumpkin pie spice or pumpkin spice whatever that is and this is in the shade pumpkin spice it is not quite as orange as I would think it would need to be to be called pumpkin spice but I pulled that one out I will swatch it for you And these, I really like the formula one because they don't dry your lips out. But this is pumpkin spice. Come on and darken, yeah. That's pumpkin spice. And these two, to me, are more pumpkin-y, but these are Christmas colors. I have gingerbread man and I have gingerbread girl. Why is it a man and a girl? But we will swatch this one is gingerbread man really pretty and then gingerbread girl is a little bit darker than gingerbread man they smell so good though um so this one in the middle here gingerbread man and then this one is gingerbread girl i also pulled out one from that little dog collection i forgot what it's called but i have clover i have the eyeshadow palette but i didn't pull that out but this is in the shade melted clover and this is sort of a mauvey shade to me so it's right there and i pulled it out in queen b queen b i wore one day last week but I decided I would just keep it in my um keep it in my basket it's not that far off from clover if you look at it this one is clover clover is slightly a little bit more pink and then the last one I pulled out um from Too Faced is in unicorn and unicorn is that sort of to me sort of purple with a little bit of pink in it i don't know it might be straight up purple to you but this is come on thing there we go this one is unicorn yeah straight up purple um and the last three that i pulled out are off of maybelline these are recent purchases these are the superstay matte ink i think they called it like the coffee collection so that is these three here um 220 not 225 255 chai genius 270 coco connoisseur and 275 mocha inventor 
and I will quickly swatch those three for you. And these feel really good on the lips too. smell really good too so this one right here at the bottom is chai genius and the one in the middle is called i forgot coco connoisseur and then the darkest one up there at the top is called mocha inventor so going up this way these are the three maybelline glosses so these are my lip picks for the week um, and that pretty much is my makeup basket for the week. I do have one more video planned to do this week where I go over stuff that is on my quiz, Christmas, Christmas slash um, birthday gift list. So like choices for holidays if you have beauty lovers in your family. Um, I am going to go because my battery on my camera is dying. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a video coming out. My mind is drawing a blank. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.